be like coriander seed. It's going to taste sweet like honey. You won't even have to do nothing for it, but gather it up. And I want you to know that when God blesses you, that's what he wants you to do. Just start bringing it in, gathering it up. Don't apologize for what God's doing in your life. But when the shower, when the rain starts falling, and that's where it comes from. It comes from above. I think uh, sometimes we miss that point. We always talk about the manna, angels' food. What is it? But we don't talk about how it came from heaven down. And look like that's a sign for God, a signal that everything you need, God have provided. But it's sent it all the way down from heaven to earth. And it's already here now. All you got to do is tell you like I've been telling you over the weeks is open your mouth like that little bird that's waiting on mama. Get your mouth ready. Open your eyes up and see what the Lord is doing in the land of the living. And when the Lord blesses you and the manna falls from heaven and the blessing falls from heaven, Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man or the woman that trusteth in him. Hallelujah. Israel messed up and put some limits on God. They limited the Holy One of Israel. But take the limit off God. Tell your neighbor, take the limit off of God. You can't limit God because God is limitless you can't limit God because you can't limit the Holy One you can't limit the one that's got all power hallelujah take the limit off of God so Paul said I've got a difficult assignment he said that things are rough in my life he said that I don't know how I'm going to talk to the Corinthian church but by the time he appears at Corinth, he's already been preaching the gospel for 15 years. He founded several churches in several provinces. Paul begins to plead his case to the Corinthians. He knows that the Corinthians are interested in intellect. He knows that they are interested in wisdom. He knows that they are interested in the fine arts. And so Paul says, look, I know about Greek philosophy. He said, but I come to you another way. My preaching is not with enticing words of man's wisdom, but my preaching is, comes in demonstration of the spirit and of power. I want to let you know nothing is wrong with education. Paul said, me, myself, I was highly educated. I spoke a multiplicity of language. I sat at the feet of Gamaliel in a Pharisee in the law. I was blameless. I knew my God every I and crossed every T. But I want you to know it's not in the intellect. It's not in the wisdom of man. It's not in the intellect of man. But it's in the connection of man and God. You may not have my God a 12th grade education. But if you got a connection with God you can move mountains hallelujah you can cast demons out you can't imagine your tomorrow today looks dark today looks dreary today looks confused the devil has you in a place right now that you are wondering how long is it gonna be you are wondering God, how much longer? I've been praying, I've been fasting, I've been calling your name, but I still don't see anything. Lord, I'm waiting on you. Lord, here I am. I'm not even an old person. I'm a young man. Some of you saying, I'm a young lady. Some of you saying, Lord, how long is it gonna be? But I hear him saying, even the youths shall faint and be weary and the young men shall utterly fall but they that wait upon the Lord oh they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength
somebody here God's gonna give you renewed strength you're gonna mount up with wings like an eagle you're gonna run and not be weary you're gonna walk and you won't fall apart wait on him wait on him wait on him your tomorrow is bright wait on him your future is bright wait on him after a while I said after a while it's gonna be morning after a while the sun's gonna shine again after a while you're gonna see the benefits after a while the blessing gonna come down after a while you're gonna get that bounce back in your step after a while you're gonna leap for joy after a while you're gonna have power like you never had before after a while you're gonna give him you're gonna give him glory after a while it's gonna be all right all right after a while get somebody by the hand and say neighbor it's gonna be all right after a while Hallelujah. Woo. I'm through. You know how we do. I'm closing four or five times. But this is only my second close. And I'm really through this time. I just want to say one thing. Can I say it? Can I say what the Bible says? Weeping may endure for a night. Hallelujah. Bromance. You know, every now and then, I feel Bishop Patterson, and I just got to get a holler. Oh, weeping may endure for a night. Hold on. Oh, hold on. Joy. Oh, joy. Joy. Oh, joy. It's coming in the morning. Friends, I know that you were blessed by that message. You can't imagine your tomorrow, and no matter how bad things look now, God has a better tomorrow than your today. Well, you can have this by writing me, Pastor Milton R. Hawkins, 369 G.E. Patterson Avenue, Memphis, Tennessee, 38126. As for the offer number that appears on your screen now, MRH 184. For an audio cassette version, send a gift of at least $5 for CD, a gift of at least $12, and for DVD or VHS, send a gift of at least $15. You also may use your credit card by dialing 1-877-369-6157. Ask for offer number MRH184, and when you call in, have your credit card handy. Somebody is standing by now to receive your call. Well, thank you so much for your prayers, your well wishes, your patronage of this ministry. We appreciate everything that you are doing. We praise God for each and every one of you. And I'm rejoicing in the reports that I'm hearing from you and how this telecast and this ministry is being a blessing to you. We look forward to seeing you on next Sunday. Until then, the blessing of the Lord be upon you. We bless you in the name of the Lord. See you next week.